we're about to finish this place off, I think it'll be good. We have one battle and one dialogue left of the dungeon. And I think that with that... Justice. Your party wanders in the, into the proverbial Nowheresville, one of many lonesome remote villages, an unarmed collection of shacks and souls. As you stride into the village square, you are greeted by a rather impressive crowd. You can tell the moods are rather tense. One of the men recognize you as their king from one of the many letters sent around by your sisters approaches you for help. Apparently, there's been a murder in the village, and the townsfolk turn to you for judgment. As the king, it is indeed within your right to pass sentences on subjects. Murder? Tell me more. They take you before a man no older than 35, his face conveying the impression of someone who's tired of having to constantly fight and plead for his own salvation, not out of arrogance, but fatigue. He doesn't acknowledge you in any way. This man is likely the suspect, if the stalks around his limbs weren't enough to clue you in. Who is this man? Waylon the blacksmith, father of three, married. Well, your guide hesitates, sort of. Not anymore. What do you mean? He killed his own wife. An elderly woman shrieks from the crowd, prompting them to go into an agitated outburst. As they calm down, your guide clears his throat and continues. <coughs> yes, that's true. He killed his wife, Sir Lorne. That's a big thing, right? Murder, I mean. You make it sound like an unquestionable fact. He briefly gnashes his teeth, taking a sneaky glance at the gathered townsfolk like a blade of grass afraid of the stampede. See, that's the thing. He, um, he confessed. He wants to be punished. That's not something out of the usual playbook, you know? Kind of... We, we don't know what to do with him. If he confessed, there's no point in dragging this out. I'm ready to give my verdict. Let me talk to him first. In other words, you're wasting my time. What a joke. You walk up to the incarcerated convict in hope of getting some answers. He raises his head to look at you, his face reminiscent of dull gray tapestry, but otherwise he says nothing. Hello. He doesn't respond. Heck, he doesn't even blink. These people say that you murdered your wife. You are answered with silence. Apparently, you don't deny, and I want to understand why. They also say that you confessed. Is that true? He nods slowly in agreement. Yes. Yes, it's true. I killed my wife in rage, and I deserve and accept my punishment. My beloved wife, Matilda. He pauses and you can feel barely contained anger that is now gripping his heart. Seething and heaving, the man lowers his gaze again. She was, oh, she was, she was, she was cheating on me. His angry grunts turn into uncontrollable sobs. All of my work. She wanted to take over the smithia and live there with that man, that man. He pass, pauses again, his anger now reined in by anguish, his body deflating rapidly like a balloon. Let's see, how do you know she was cheating? Let's go ahead and do this. The convict sharply jerks his head back to look at you, all the while contorting his own body in weird, uncontrollable angles. I saw them do it. I walked in on them. I heard everything, everything. He begins sobbing. Matilda, my Matilda. Why would you do that to me? I thought, oh, Matilda. Hmm. You have no reason to keep quiet. Who was it? The convict remains silent as the grave, his um, gaze trailing to the gobblestones. It's hard to say what's going on in his head right now. Is he stalling, contemplating, breathing? Either way, the awkward silence continues. Um, sir... Your guide looks at you anxiously. I don't think you'll get anything more out of him for now. Um. Um. He looks the convict absentmindedly. He's a good blacksmith. Best one we ever had, in fact. Not sure if that was what you're looking for. Okay. Word that a member of House Lauren will be passing sentence spreads fast. I feel like I failed. 
Before you know it, the short span of time that it takes for you to turn to collect your thoughts, the crowd doubles in volume. At this point, you think the entire village may be gathered in attendance. You ascend to the stairs of the wooden podium. You look around for a moment. You figure now a fo or you fi your figure now focus for all the stairs around you. The tense, the curious, the vindictive, everyone is looking at you intently. The time has come to pass judgment. Now, here's the thing, I don't know, I don't know. It's hard. I don't think that I could do hanging. And life imprisonment isn't much better. Five to ten years? I don't know what their life expectancy is, but given the time frame, that's a death sentence too. Exile the man is certainly an option. I don't think he'd do well. Set the man free. I think release the man to the tender mercies of the mob. You submit the man to the mob, knowing full well that an agitated mass of people probably won't be very kind to a murderer. Still, if they crave vindication, the- oh dear. I made the wrong choice. Oh well. Signy likes that. Everyone else hated it. And I hated it too. That's not okay, but it's what we're gonna deal with. Survive for 10 years. I didn't realize that they were just going to turn and kill him. I thought that I was giving the mob the choice of rule. But I guess I kind of did, and they got to do what they want. Win the battle in six turns, win with three combatants or less deployed. Survive for 10 turns. You know, if I do Theo, I do Diego. Alice could summon, certainly. We're gonna try this. We can always restart the deployment. Let's get dangerous. Let's get this over with. Excellent. Yeah, I'm gonna need to get over here and destroy that. Unfortunately, Theo is just not fast enough. my friend. Okay. Shall I blind you? Thinking about it. I could also just do this. Yeah, I think I will. I'll blind those three. And yeah, I got a good amount of shields from that. That's nice. I'm jinxed. That's okay. Come on, baby. Light my fire. All right. Oh, dodged. Oh, great. Oh well. Let's get this over with. Look around. Okay. 
Oh, did she stun me? Nope, no stun. Something wicked this way comes. Monster mash! Haha, <laughs> he's silenced. That's a win for me. Do you hear the voices too? Let's get dangerous. Okay. I don't think I'm gonna. Oh, you know, maybe what do I you will. Need? Let's see. 493, 2. It's this Look guy I'm alive. actually afraid that I'm not going to be able to defeat in the six turns prerequisite. So, the three turns, though, I think I might be oh able to do. Stun me. Wicked. Excellent. All right. I thought it was silenced. Well, that's a shame. Get dangerous. Okay. So I won't need to use his ultimate ability, which is great, actually. He's been poisoned, which is nice. Oh, that's not good. I've been stunned. I may just transfer that poison to everyone with Theo. I don't know how useful that poison is. Hey, that's uncalled for. Dark fact! Ten percent of their maximum health bypassing shield points. But I'm not allowed to move. Oh, yeah, yeah. Hmm. Beware. The bat! Awkward gaze. Jinx. Come on, baby. Light my fire. Let it flow. Dang it. And then we'll just move over here. And we're stunned. Oh my goodness. That's so frustrating. Oh, she's going down. You're still victimized. Still in range. I 
maybe. Let's just see what I do. Good, I didn't self blind. Oh, I see. You know, I do want to take that down, and I can. So let's go ahead and Box just do it. Box in the Monster Max. Let's see skills and effects. I have to take a look to see what's going on. Jinx puts a cooldown on all skill. Okay. Put up. Puts all skills on cooldown after using any skill. Does not affect skills that are already on cooldown. So that's what's going on. Stop jinxing me. Okay. Well, I, Let's get dangerous. I have this turn to win. So what I'll do... And since that's not going to happen... So I'll summon him. I'm Go about again. to lose control, and I think I like it. Yeah, we'll just do this. Someone that thing needs to go away. down. Very nice. Okay. Incoming. Quick shot. Really, we need to lead with his ultimate. Just don't stun anymore. Grr. That's okay. That is okay. Dark Vert! Since I think he's going to die, let's get some more shields. And you're jinxing me again. That's fine. He dies, I get my more shields. And honestly, so long as... <laughs> Very nice. Let's see. So long as I win with all three, I still have a rest. Uh, that didn't happen. I'll get the bonus. Oh, that's so good. Miss. I'm go I think that I'm going to definitely Let's see. My bug suck your blood. <laughs> yes. All right. Come on baby, light my fire. I think I'm going to try to finish things with What's it called? Let it flow. The turns with his ult or with do I have Diego. To? So what I'll do? A shot to the heart, and you're to blame. Yes, my friend. Hey, that's no fair. I can't I can't not hit. Um I 
and he goes last. You win. The heat is on. You mean, mean zombie lady. Excellent. Do I have to? All right, so here we go. Incoming. Yep. You're already down enough. I'm you. Not the best shot, except when I am. Oh, am I gonna still be in within range? Yeah. I am. Do you me a favor. And Stand let's finish still. This. Uh, what was your name again? Target practice? <laughs> I'm really liking Diego and Theo. Alright, that was the final battle, unless this dialogue leads to a battle. Dungeon complete. I've complete. Okay. Wait, wasn't there. A... Yeah, it doesn't matter. Okay. Skill morph hitting an enemy with bang will now push him back one. I don't really need that. I will say having him go earlier would be nice. And so I'm gonna get rid of that and give him dodge and initiative. Although that extra health is nice too. So I'll just go keep the extra health and go initiative. All right, Alice, let's take a look at you. We have both of your skill morphs that you have available. So for now, you going fast is good. All right, Diego, let's take a quick look at you. Immunity to slow might be nice for you eventually. Having a 4% dodge. Do you really need the dodge, though? I don't know. I am going to put that there. And you know what? We'll give him extra health. Alright, Griffith. How are we doing? You have your skill morph. gonna just increase it well no let's give you dodge i often use you like a tank even though it's clear that there are better tanks out there ah levant okay let's take a look at this anything yeah we'll give you the physical resistance and I'll give you the extra health as well. All right, Signy, we're moving on to uh, you. I do like that whirlwind. I'll be honest, having jumping in there and then using whirlwind—that's something I don't use enough. Um. Hmm. Do I lower your initiative just for that? You know, you're. I think I will actually, and I'm thinking I may regret that, but I think I will. All right, and Theo. So we need to craft you a better weapon. Oops, my mouse dropped. All right. Let's go ahead and do this. Even with the initiative bonuses that you're getting, you're still acting so last. We may, I might just drop that. Right. Which one is Dreadlance? Okay, that's not bad actually. Skill morphing that, yeah. 
with how bad your initiative is. Ravenous Reach. I'm good with that. All right. You know what? Let's go ahead and go back to... Escalia. We'll look at the missive. Yeah, I'm just not satisfied with what happened there, but oh, something new is happening. Oh, sounds like a break in. Uh, get get their away from me! <laughs> it's something with Diego. No need to worry. I'm a professional. Hey, that's. Oh, he's on the title screen I use, I think. I don't even know you. Right. Well, it's nothing personal. You need to relax. Take a deep breath and... <laughs> Wait, what? What the hell is going on here? See, that's the kind of attention we don't really need. Move along, girl. Nothing to see here. I'm the lady of this castle. I'm not afraid of a thug with a knife. Oh? You've made some powerful friends, Diego of House Leonor. Hell, I'm impressed. Clever boy. Didn't suspect you of such cunning. <laughs> Can you start making sense already? Well, sweetheart, I was contracted to hunt down this man. And being the consummate pro that I am, I intend to do just that. What did he do? Does it matter? Somewhere, someone wants him dead. Now, if there's nothing else... Wait, wait, uh, just wait, damn it. As much as I'd like you to off that sleazy son of a submariner. Son of a submariner? I think she means submariner. Am I wrong in that pronunciation? I'm going to insist on a no-kill, go-away policy. <laughs> See, this is the estate of House Lauren of Escalia. You cannot do as you please. Well, that's not good. I have a job to do here, miss. I admire your dedication to your work. I suggest a deal. What? What? Between a beast girl, a guy in a bucket, and two dumbasses, <laughs> a competent assassin sounds like something uh... we could use. Now look. Of course, you can decline. But as much as I agree with your stance on things, I still won't allow you to kill anyone associated with our court. That's just bad press. Bad press? Lady, you don't know bad press. I'm a professional. I don't give up on my commissions as soon as he steps out of your care. Tough luck. You heard the lady. I'm not going anywhere. That's great, because neither am I. <laughs> We're going to have all the time in the world, my good Diego. Uh... You boys work it out between yourselves, then. Ta-ta. Uh, wait, wait. Uh, don't leave me with him. Don't let him kill me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, poor Diego. You have no idea. That's that's amazing. Okay, there is no cow level. If we show up and there's a bunch of cows. All right, let's take a look. Now, before I go off, is the assassin showing up anywhere? It's not. I really want to upgrade the smithy. Let's check out our... Diplomatic missive. Okay, so we have Armelis versus Minwe. And our diplomacy says that we're siding with Armelis. Okay. A rather questionable letter reaches your desk with multiple unflattering objectives pertaining to its condition viv are vying for domination over your vernacular, currently the victorious one would be wet. Hello. I think you're the person to write to about this. There's a turtle in my wall. A drunk? I think he claims to otherwise. Gnome crashed his turtle into my living room, ruining my Nana's collection of canopy jars. So okay, these things happen, right? But he refuses to pay for repairs. He cites something called forced manure. Yet yeah, forced manure? I don't even know what that means, but it sounds gross. What's worse, he claims that he's stuck here until the towing service arrives, which means he's currently occupying my couch while I'm forced to watch his turtle nibble at my begonias. 
And it's been this, like this, for a week already. I'm almost at my, the end of my rope here. I mean, what should I do? I don't want his manure, and I really don't have the health to argue with him. Please help. Joe's for the northern Shakul, the arid stretch. Um, hire Baz to engage with the gnome for Amelise. Let's see. Or hire Huck soon to explain the whys and nuts to the... Okay. Resolved. All right. Did that com complete a kingdom quest by chance? There's Diego. I do want to chat with Diego. Um, quests. Kingdom quests. Reach level four with Alfheim or the Empire. Reach reputation level two. Okay. So I am getting this, but that one didn't count. All right, so this, I should have 15, right? Um, in order to pass chapter three. So it's five every time. So five, 10, I just need one more. All right, and as I said, I really want to upgrade to get a better weapon. So let's see about upgrading that smithy. Allows you to reach buddy and friends level with Gunther's personal bond. Ooh, but I'll only have 500 left. Not sure that's what I want to do. Exclamation mark. Let's take a look here. Question mark? Question mark! Make way for Her Grace's delegation. Attention! Introducing Lady Quinn Gionse, Knight Teniente of the Ducal Guard. Veteran Ko Salete and Ensign to Tertio de Kirata, holder of the Sacred Chalice of... Thank you, Zavon. That's more than enough. Knight Teniente Quinn Gionce of Armalise, reporting for duty, sir. Knight Teniente? The Ducal Guard? What's this all about? They're the diplomatic delegation from Armalise. Just on time, too. They were scheduled to arrive today. Okay. Um, you didn't forget, did you? <laughs> uh, well... By the order of the virtuous Lady Gracilia Reina de Noyen, Her Grace the Duchess of Armalise, I am here to complete the agreement between our nations. In my capacity as the official representative of Armalise in Escalia, it is my duty to provide the necessary assistance on your mission to rebuild your kingdom, sir. You know, this is going a lot better than I thought it would. I thought it'd be like, hey, you look like you need a mage. Hey, you look like you need a knight. And that's it. This is, this is really good. It fits their country. So yeah, plus I'm very intrigued to use her Th as a thank knight. Thank you, Lady Giance. Hmm. Oh, right. D dismissed. Please, make yourself at home. At ease, men. You may return to the company. I would ask you to relay a message to Candelaria that we have arrived in good health and without hindrances. I love her stance. Kind of wish her sprite or her character matched Are it. Are they not staying? My lord? Your companions? They won't be joining you? No, my lord. Per our agreement, it's just me. I believe Her Grace has expressed confidence that such an arrangement would be more than enough to safeguard your interests. Hmm. <laughs> so, um, please tell me something about yourself. With all due respect, my lord, I would request your leave to let me assume my duties at once. I am not familiar with the workings of your court yet. At the very least, I believe it would be prudent to review the layout of your town and the castle chambers. Ah! Oh, I could walk you around if you want. 
Thank you for your offer, my lady, but I'll manage. My lord, my lady. Okay. I'll need to take a look at her abilities. So, what do you think? I like her. All things considered, she seems like a good person. Oh, I see. What did you think about her then, big bro? Honestly, for one, I think she and Griffith will either hate each other's guts or fall into mad beautiful love at first sight. <laughs> yeah, I can see that. All right. Oh, we have another square active. Oh, you know, um... For diplomacy, who is ready to... Or not diplomacy, personal bonds. Who is ready? You're ready. Gunter is ready. And I need to upgrade it one more time. Soon you're not ready. Oh, Levant is ready. Okay. They're ready. I have a lot of bonds that are just ready. Unlock crafting regular potions. Okay. And you're ready. Okay. Let's go ahead and take a look at the town square first, see what's going on. Hey, greetings. Evening. UK Lauren. That's me. Gran. The name's Gran. Uh, you know what? I think... Is he the one guy from Star Wars Rebels? Now, he is. your sister over there tells me you have a job for me. I said that a professional assassin like him would make an excellent addition to our roster of lunatics. Now, are you sure that's wise? Certainly fashionable at the very least. <laughs> First thing, I prefer the term bounty hunter. Second, I am not some damn scrap beggar. You want me, you need to pay for me. Also, I'm kind of already in the middle of a job, so that'll cost you extra. I have my standards. Yes, I heard. You're after Diego. That's right. I'm here because of that Diego fellow. Right. So, you're gonna pay me or not? You know, Gwen, this is slightly odd, isn't it? It's a stalemate one way or another. But we could use it to our advantage. Just as we could use the talent of a consummate professional like himself. <laughs> Fair enough. I trust he'll handle the payments? Sure, why not? Welcome aboard, Sir Gren. I'm no sir, sir. Welcome aboard, Gren. Yep. All right. Any more exclamation marks? Then let's go ahead. I'm just going to take a look at these characters. Um, we have Gren, and we... And this is Quinn. I thought her, she was Giancy. Must have missed her last name. All right, deals 100% of base physical damage to a target. Do you have a better item? Nope. User generates 20% of maximum shields, three turn. Okay, user gains slowed for two turns. So we get her out into position and then activate it. Oh, 100% wheel damage plus 1% per five shields? Applies, oh, she would go perfect with K. Stunned for one turn if the target is taunted. All right, I mean, she just like uber K's. That, that's okay. <laughs> shield other transfers 50% of current shield to target ally and removes all debuffs. Used to generates 10% maximum shields. Oh, well, that's nice. Applies taunted for two turns to all enemies on the battlefield. Doubles. I was talking about tanks, and I admit that I probably will use Theo over her. But let's definitely get her into a place where... Oh! <clears throat> Immunity is slowed. So she'll never be slowed when she uses that ability. That's very nice. Shields per turn. Shields per turn. Hmm. Hmm. 
and I feel like maybe getting her out into the battlefield early will help. Well, actually, you know what? Dodge and dodge. So what is her dodge chance? She has a 5% chance to dodge. 26 initiative, so she's not going to be fast. And that's okay. And just that. Okay. So that's Quinn. And let's take a look over here. Base damage is physical to a target. Applies poison for two turns. Cancels the user's stealth. User gains stealth. Don't blink. Apply slow and blinded for three turns. Requires the user to be stealth. This ability does not count. Oh, wow. Apply stun for one turn if performed while well stealthed. Okay. Applies blinded for two turns to all enemies in range. Um, applies uh, stealth for two turns to all allies in range. Okay, that's pretty decent. Again, the shields per turn is nice. Dodge is nice. And, yeah, just ignoring. I mean, he's definitely more of a control person. And I'm not sure I'll use him. But let's take a look. Next, I do want to go craft, or go craft something for Theo. Hello! Although, Hello. <laughs> let's see, craft weapons. For Theo. Simple scythe that manages dignified look. Don't let her fool you. Still highly impractical. Give him an increased initiative. But 40 shield points at activation. Okay. Or just a flat 150, I do prefer over time. Okay, so we are definitely going to craft this. We have what we need to do so. We'll craft that. Um, next up, let's go ahead and do Gren. Negative effects, 150, accurate. I'm gonna do this nice. And Quinn should be last. Okay, 20 again. Not, well, not as good as the 40 shield. What's going on? Alright, that's probably going to be my best. Uh, flat 100 shield points at plus 20 and 5% extra damage. Yeah, that's going to be the best. Alright. I want to make sure nobody else has a gray weapon. 15 to 19 to 30 to 39. Oh, wow. Does anyone else even match that? 19 to 39. You certainly don't. Let's take a look. Your damage didn't change at all, so you are truly a tank. 32 to 42, That, but you have a blue weapon. And then... I really wish there was a way to determine... To determine damage. Because I feel like... Hello! Hello! <laughs> I feel like there should be. Common regular weapon, Alice. But just a flat damage increase. I That would be something that either I'm missing and would feel very silly about or not.
All right. Let's go talk to Diego. Hello. In Amelis, we'd like to know uh, our hosts better over a glass of something invigorating. What do you say? Shall we sit at the inn? Yeah, let's go ahead. Sweet. Good call, friend. But just in case, you're the one footing the bill, right? Right? Oh, dear. Ha! Ah, this hits the spot. When was the last time I visited an inn like this? <gasps> yesterday. I mean, the ambience in general. Also yesterday? Ah. Ah, kids get so annoying these days, don't they? So mouthy and self-righteous. What's this? Oh my, did the bill just magically get longer? <laughs> Would you look at that? So many extra zeros in the mandatory tip column. Oh no, you didn't. You little... <sighs> Funny person. <laughs> what a humorous predicament. Oh, for the love of... I swear this kid's gonna be the end of me. Or rather, one of the many ends of me. You look li like you're about to ask me something. Eh. Yeah, kind of. You know, you never did tell me what exactly made you join us. Oh. Did I? The way I remember it, you were desperate, but why? So you're not buying the story about me being attracted by your glorious achievements? Nah. I wasn't asking you! Stop eavesdropping! Let me answer the question with another question. Why do you think I joined you? Hmm. Money. Yes, perhaps in different circumstances, but what money is there to be had by the side of an indebted ruler? <sighs> Fair point. You know what that old saying, men marry because they're tired, women because they're curious, both are disappointed. Well, I'm not tired. I don't think I ever will be. And hey, I am to please. There's always a fine lady, or two, or a dozen, who's going to learn all too quickly that their husband is a boring old warty frog. That's where I come in, swooping in, passion bursting like a volcano. I mean, I'm sure you've heard about me. Diego of House Leonor, charmer, fighter, lover. The dashing rogue who leaves no heart unbroken in his wake. Actually, I don't think I have. Oh. Uh, all right. Let's just say that I may have broken one heart too many. Oh, the heat it caused. That's part of the course, for the course, but take it from me. This retreats, or the retreats are always messy. Gotta know when to fold them now. You've just used a golf and a poker term. You're hiding because from an angry husband? No, not just any husband, a rich one. Now Kay, can I call you Kay? Don't get hasty, okay? How was I supposed to know? They all uh, look the same in the dark, right? Dude, really? Hush, Nina. A Nina. Sounds like Sounds a funny good story. To me. No, it doesn't. I wouldn't exactly call it funny. Bumpy, yes. Funny, not to me. Ah, well, I can make myself useful. Don't you worry. For example, as a man of passion, I'm always ready to offer some red hot romantic advice. Uh, thanks, but no thanks. Maybe your sister's there. No. I doubt it. Wait, scratch that. No. No. <laughs> Bummer. Oh, dear. Alright, we got 38 days left. Yay! Okay, we should check that out. Quick shot has a 50% chance. Ooh, that is most necessary. Most necessary indeed. What are we gonna get rid of though? We need two points. Accuracy is key for him, I think. What is his accuracy? It's 88%. It's the average accuracy. So he does need, uh, yeah, we, sh we need to keep his accuracy. In fact, maybe we should Lower other things. Is there any other accuracy that he doesn't have? We don't need the dodges. Is 
So if we had three, we could do plus three percent damage, plus three accuracy. Shields per turn, but we don't have that much. I am going to, oof, damage initiative. He doesn't need to be that fast. So, yeah, his initiative is going to drop to a 24. He'll be slower, but he often is our finisher at this point. All right. Oh. It's like we were just here. All right, Lilka. Welcome. Did you need something today, mister? Um, yes, uh -huh. actually. Oh, right, make yourself comfortable. Need to do something first, but I'll be right back. In the meantime, why don't you chat with Papa? I'm sure he'd love it. Mm. Uh, hello there. Mm. Um, fine day, isn't it? Mm. Okay. Hey there. Had some errands to run and aw, aren't you two getting along? Hey, Papa, brought the stuff you wanted. Also got some extra for you right here. Guaranteed to conjure a smile. Oh, right. Sorry for the bad timing. But could you wait a minute? We really need to sort this stuff. Grab a seat, meanwhile. Okay. <laughs> She's not his real daughter, you know. Huh? Back then, we were part of a small mercenary company known as the Coins of Fate. Ring a bell? <laughs> Didn't think so. Anyway, we were hired to bolster the forces against the United or forces united against the uprising of Lord Nulova. It was uh, the eve of last battle. <laughs> the following day, we were supposed to lead a decisive charge. However, an additional task was placed upon us. Additional task? Our commander felt that mere prowess would not be enough. Break a myth, spirit, and their body is quick to follow, he said. Hey. That night, we were ordered to perform three simultaneous terror strikes. Oh, three villages sympathetic to the uprising, all meant to be burnt to the ground. <laughs> Anyone who didn't join, mostly women and children, were supposed to, to perish. That's dark. <laughs> Back then, we were all a little bit crazy in the head. It seemed an effective option. Messy, sure, <laughs> but effective. As you can imagine, it wasn't a very proud <laughs> moment for the coin. Battling with our was our living, our daily bread. <laughs> Mercenaries can't <laughs> shed tears. That's not what they're paid to do. <laughs> Nobody wants that. But Baz did. <laughs> he took pity. <laughs> Shouldn't have, <laughs> but he did. Uh, so Lilka. Mm, I'm gonna need a freaking drink. Oh, I should probably talk like <laughs> this. Okay. Yep. Needless to say, this was our last day with the coins. There we go. So what's up? Anything I can help with? Um, how's your dad? His usual old self, not grumpier than expected. So yeah, fine, I guess. <laughs> Nagging our customers again, Shichi? <laughs> <laughs> Just a little bit, don't you worry. <laughs> I'd smile if my face wasn't dumb. Anyways. You haven't kept me here from me. Don't mind me. I'll be star staring into that oddly attractive tankard. Glug, glug, glug. With the amount of booze he consumes daily, it's a miracle he's still alive. Okay. That was pretty cool, actually. I like that. These stories are really good. I'm wondering if I don't have enough to complete all the stories. Slightly increases relationship points from personal bond conversation options. Oh, I should have done this from the beginning. Okay. Increases dialect gain from all sources by 10%. Yet, yeah, theirs is probably one of the most lucrative. Well, 
We've done quite a bit. I think that is all for this episode. I don't know if I'll get out another episode this week, but we might. So certainly stick around. In the meantime, I'm Nidanoski. As always, have fun. <laughs>